There are many ways to create a movement for a 2D character, but in this video I will show you an easy and quick way to create a movement and a nice jump for your character in Unity. Also, if you would like to have these animations playing with the movement, I recommend you to watch the previous one, the animation tutorial. But if you're here only for the movement, let's get started. For this video I imported some more sprites that we're going to use in our project. I'll leave the link on the description below and you can download it. To start, let's adjust our scene for our player center to be able to apply his moves. First, we're going to create a floor. Inside the photo tiles here, we have sprite number 2. Drag into the scene and with the rec tool here, just resize it. Also, I will move our player center here to the middle. Next, let's add a collider. This works as a wall for our player to be able to stand on top of it. Click here. With our floor selected, click on add component and let's type box collider 2D. We need the 2D one. We see now it's configured here, so it looks good. Last thing we need for this floor is a tag. So we come here on top, tag, add tag, and let's call it ground. A ground tag, we select our ground, and perfect. Now our floor is configured, ready to go. Now we have to work on our center. Actually, before we start with our player, let's add a background, just look better. I'll drag this BG here. In our scene, I was just repositioned, but if you see now our BG is in front of our player. We come here in the sorting layer of our BG and set to minus one. That way it's going to be behind our player. Okay, now let's start working on our player center. So to make it move, we need two components, box collider 2D and a rigid body 2D. Let's add this by selecting our center here, add component. First, we need box collider 2D, so we have here, and a rigid body 2D. Great job. For our box collider, it looks a bit weird, so we need to reset it. Let's click Edit Collider here. Let's just reset it here for our center. It looks a little bit better now. Let's zoom in, actually. And here, perfect. We have now our center with the perfect box collider for his size. And for rigid body 2D, I want to change this gravity scale here. Instead of 1, I want 3, the value of 3, because that way it looks better when we jump. And now everything is ready for us to create our first script that's going to make our center move. We're going to create the player controller. Click on add component, type player CTRL, that's a name I prefer, you can type the name you want, and press enter to time. Now double click here to open the script. Inside our script, let's first create the movement and then after the jump. So for that I need first public float player speed, and now a private float move, and here a private rigid body 2D, I'll call it RB. And inside our start method, we need to get the component, the rigid body component attached to our player. So RB equals get component. We're gonna need the rigid body 2D and just close it here. Perfect. Now we have the rigid body. And inside update, we first we're gonna get the input from the keyboard from the user. So move equals Input dot get axis horizontal with capital H. What this does is if we press A or left arrow, this variable is going to be minus one. And if we press D or right arrow, this variable is going to be one. Great. So now we need to apply the velocity to our rigid body. So it's going to be RB dot velocity equals new vector two. So position X axis and Y axis. On the X where is where we're going to move the player. So it's going to be move times player speed. And on the y axis, it's going to be, we're going to leave the way it is. So rb dot velocity dot y. So that means this value we won't change. Perfect. So if we save and go back to Unity here, we have the player speed. Let's give it a value of 10. And let's test now. Now I have our player. He's animated on idle animation. And if I press A or D, left or right, you can see our player is moving now, but he's not animated and not even changing the direction. I mean, not changing the animation. So let's go back to the script and edit those. Back to our script. To change the directions is very simple. If move less than zero, transform the Euler angles equals new vector tree, and we're going to pass on zero, 180, and zero. Else if I'll move more than zero, transform the Euler angles equals new vector tree, and here everything is zero. Zero, zero, zero. 
That way, our character is going to be able to face left and right. I will show how that works in a minute, but now our center is able to change direction. Now let's start creating the jump. For that, we need two more variables. Let's come on top here. We need a public flow jump speed. Private boo is jumping. To make our player jump, we need to add a force to our radio body. Here on OpenAid, let's create a condition for it. So if input dot get button down, we're gonna call the jump button, which is already configured community. It's gonna be space and his jumping is false because we want him to be able to jump only once. RB dot add force new vector two, and we're gonna pass here on x axis. It's going to be the way it is, so rb.velocity.x and on y-axis we're going to apply the jump speed. And also down here we need is jumping equals true now, because then we don't want him to be able to jump many times. Great. But now our player is able to jump only once because his jumping will never become false again. For that we need a method called onCollisionEnter2D. I'll rename this collision for other, it's just the way I like to work. And inside here if other dot game object dot compare tag the tag we want is the one we created for the ground or our floor if we collide with something with a tag ground that means our player is on the floor so is jumping is equals false again because we are not jumping anymore great let's save it here and let's test on unity here on unity i have the variable now jump speed let's give it a value of 600 and let's test now if you see here now our player is jumping and the jump looks really good actually, better than I thought <laughs> but it's not animated so let's go back to the script and start with our transitions. Back to the script I need to get the animator component from our player so for that I need a variable private animator we'll call it anim and I need to get this component so here on start method under rb we're gonna get this component so anim equals get component animator Great, now we need to create another method that set the values for the variables we created on the last video, the movement and the is jumping. So below on collision enter method, I will create void run animations. And inside here, I need an in dot set float, set a value for float, which one movement from the last video. And the value I'll pass is math dot abs and move. Our variable move, which is going to be 1 or minus 1. But with this math ABS, it's going to be always 1. And if you remember from the last video, our movement is always changed if it's greater than 0 0.1. So it's going to be 1 now, and we'll switch the animation. And for jumping, so anim.set bool is jumping from our animator, and the variable is jumping we just created from this script. The first is jumping is from the animator. And the second one is from this script. So perfect, save it. And the most important thing, let's call this run animations inside our update. Don't forget that, otherwise it won't work. Save it and let's go back to Unity now. Here in Unity, let's test now. If I press play, you can see our animation is switching perfect. But if you notice, there's a bit of delay when it's switching the animations. So let's go outside here, go back to the animator. And on our transitions here, we have to we have the settings and transition duration. From all transitions, let's set this value to zero. After doing that, let's select our animation jump and in check here loop time. We don't want that animation to loop when we are jumping. Let's test again. Great. If you see now our animation is running perfect, our jump perfect, our idle, everything is running perfect. Amazing. So congratulations to create your first character moving with animation. That's really awesome guys. That's really good. Before we end this video, I just want to explain how we're changing the direction of our player. So if you select center here and transform component, we have here rotation. And on Y axis, if you change to 180, you can see now our character is looking left. If it's zero, right. So on our script, we are just changing this value and make our character looking left or right. Okay, this is it for this video. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have any question, suggestion, or have any issue with the project, leave in a comment below. I always answer everybody. So enjoy your game and see you on the next one.